na pia niko na wale watu ambao ni resource persons wangu they know literally everything kuna maswali yameulizwa kama ya uh, ya health funding and everything else by the way do not be worried open up roho yako hii conversation over like nimekwambia we are not afraid to talk we will love to talk sawa sawa so don't there's no victimization toa fungua roho sawa sawa if we don't talk sasa tutafanya nini tupigane si heri tuongee Kwanza kabisa ningependa treasurer wetu na uh, secretary general who are respond generally there were issues about governance there were issues around funding model we have got resource people and they will respond so I love microphones to come here Ningependa mheshimiwa Nyakundi ajibu maswali kadhaa I'm a respond to na ongeleshe pia alafu Comrades power Comrades viva Comrades transact Amjacheki manango zenu kwa vitu zimeingia. Baada zijaingia mimi kama treasurer sahi na transact nikikaa chini saa hizi. Sawa, vile mmesikia mimi kwa majina naitwa Japheth Nyakundi, MP wa Kitutu cha North kule Kisi, alafu mimi ndio mweka zina wa hiki chama tawala cha UDA. First of all, I want to appreciate each and every one of you for coming here today. Uh, we started this chapter two weeks ago in Nairobi, and we said that as the UDA party, we have to come out and nurture the young people who are comrades. Let me tell you, I was also a student leader in the university, and that is the reason. Out of that experience I got as a university student and leadership in the university, that is the reason today I'm a member of parliament of Kitutu Church North. <laughs> so out of such programs, we say that we will nurture you and we will help you to get into governance because we have so many people who have come from such structures to be in governance. Let me go straight to the, to the point. I know as government, we've had our own issues more so in communication. We've had the university funding model, lack of proper communication was done. We've had the shift, lack of proper communication was done. We have the National Employment Authority, and I want to thank God that P.S. Mwadime is here today. I'm the one who has been advocating for National Employment Authority everywhere I go, because the president has son, signed so many bilateral labor agreements, but these young people who are here today, they are not conversant of how to apply for those jobs, how to get those jobs, how to get the passports, and how they will meet, how they will get means to travel so that they can also earn a living out of the jobs that are in the National Employment Authority. Kweli si kweli. Kweli si kweli. Si wera ziko pale na nyia mjui mjia kwa apply. Ata mjui ni wera gani ziko pale. Ba sasa we utawambia kazi zipi ziko pale na njia ya kwa apply. I also want to thank you most sincerely. I want to thank you most sincerely, all the comrades of this country, because of accepting to sit down with government so that you can solve the issue of the university funding model. There is a committee that has been formed so that they can be able to talk about the university funding mole that has become a problem. Sincerely speaking, the other model had its own problem. We thought that by bringing this new model, we are able to solve the problems that are there, but out of that, there is a hiccup kidogo, and which I believe, if there is one person who has been chosen from here, I want to assure you, we will talk with government, we will talk with the, P with the PS and the CS for education, we make sure we add at least two people from this region so that they can also be included in the rest of the committee that is there that is talking about the university funding model. You've talked about uh, the amount of money that is coming as capitation. So far, the government has been able to release 2.8 billion for scholarships. The new funding model, they've re released 8.6 billion. For help, they've released 5.8 billion. Capitation, they've released 3.8 billion. The money that has been released for the issues to do with the university is a total of 21 billion Kenya shillings. 
and we want to assure you the way the cabinet secretary had said through the intervention of the president that nobody will be chased out of school because of lack of school fees until this whole thing is uh, they've sat down and resolved the issue of the university funding model simuliambiwa kila mtu aingie campo akulembuku kwanza tukingoja to solve the issue so I want to assure you, ya kwamba, there is nobody who will be chased and everyone will do exams for the time being until this whole issue is resolved. So Mr. Kini Chapiane Maneno Mingi, Mimi tu kitu ntasema ni na na in case of any other question, that is what I wanted to talk about, especially the, the university funding mole and the amount of money that has been released. I know there's a young boy who, there's a young guy who said, there's a comrade who said about uh, the money that has been released last financial year was 12,000 Kenya shillings. Yes, as a country, we've had problems to do with the financing of our budgets. And as time goes by, this time round, I want to assure you that the amount of capitation that will come to our schools will increase because ile zile issues tulikuwa nazo za kulipa madeni at least sasa we've reduced it and we have enough money for capitation so i want to assure you this financial year because i also sit in the budget committee of the republic of kenya in parliament that the money that will come for capitation will surely increase to where it was of 22000 kenya shillings siada munipigia magofi majama kutoka hapa ndio ni transact comrades power comrades power Comrades transact. Si wacha ni pati SGP ya wacha pie. Asante sana. I will uh, actually respond to a young lady there. Ali, Ali Oliza. What is this chapter all about? Led by Brian and uh, the Vice Chair Zainab and others. Minili Wasili Kama Secretary General about two months ago, conscious that this is the only party where the Secretary General of the party was one day Chairman of Moy University Student Organization <laughs> and also the Chairman of the Kenya National Student Organization. Then my Chairperson, Governor of Embu, I met her on the streets of Nairobi in 1998 when we were agitating for better pay for teachers and the democratization of Kenya. She was that time vice chairperson of the Student Union of Egerton University, SWELL. Tukasema, these young people are exactly where we were about two and, two and a half, three decades ago, looking for hope, looking for an opportunity for leadership, looking for an opportunity to be heard. In my first request to the president, I told him, our Vijana are exactly where Cecily and I and, and Aaron Cheriot were many years back. I think it's important that we are a listening government. The president has listened, UDA will listen. And that's why you are here to ensure that you become an effective conduit for information sharing, and information dissemination, and where possible, to peleke information to Kayoipata inform part of our public policy. Because we are a government. Ile kitu ni mimi nitachanga hapa, ama nitakusanya hapa, itaenda katika neck ya UDA. Itaenda kutoka neck ya UDA, itaingia katika serikali ya Kenya Kwanza as policy, so that we can improve ourselves. <laughs> Number two, sisi hapa tumeka hapa leo because it's time also we started to listen. That's why I asked some of these policymakers, and I have great respect and appreciation to them for having found time to come here. Mwadime knows the questions he's going to be asked, not only in this one, but we will take him, we'll tag him along all over the country. These people need to know, you need to face them, you need to, to address the issues of employment so that they can be able to, uh, to engage with government. You are the policymakers, you must now face the people to explain and canvas your policy for not only public participation, but for better understanding of government policy. Why was this to Kwaapo? Nayamwisho, before I give back the policy makers, Kona Mambo, Nitakuja Skumoja, Bila Mike, Nuambe Vile Tutapanga. Mipi Anilipanga, Nikio Kochini. 
My first politician to ever, for me to meet were three people at the same time. And the mentorship they gave us is what today has given us the opportunity to actually lead the ruling party and the biggest party in this country. Nilipatana na Raila Odinga, nikapatana na James Orengo, nikapatana na Kina Anyang Yong when I was a student leader at Moi University in 1998. And they gave us an opportunity. And they gave us the ladder to climb. And we who have used those ladders must now give that ladder to others so that they can get to the same place. Wale mwenyezi mungu wamewapa fursa. Mukapata uwezo kwa kwekewa ngazi. It is important that you provide the ladder uinzi wenzako pia wapande katika hiyo ngazi. Na wewe dugi yangu liosema about MCA sijui tuweke age limit. Aina aja, tutawaingiza bila age limit. We will have a deliberate policy because if we try that constitutionally, it will be a discrimination against against age. When you are Katiba Kenya, but the rights of the youth equal rights of the elderly person. We must be a balanced government and a balanced state. Kwa hivyo lakini kuna namna si jimu lisema occupy. Mimi nitatafungua hii chama muta occupy hiyo UDA. Mlangu wa mbele usipite kwa dirisha, usipite kwa mtaro, usipite kwa kichochoro. Hii kupitia Comrades Chapter na kupitia elections zetu na kupitia stakbadhi zetu utaingia ndani ya serikali. Na wale ambao wataji, watajikakamua we will have an affirmative action program for young women. We will have affirmative action programs for other special interests including youth and people with disability so that they can venture their skills katika nyinyi in the years to come one of you by god's will will be president and the cabinet will come from you na hiyo ndo tunaweka msingi hata tunajenga a leadership academy hata mimi na huyu ndugu yangu treasurer kijana chipukizi huyu ndo aliotoa jimi angwenyi kitutu chache jimi angwenyi alikuwa amekwama ndugu yetu nyakundi akaja akangoa na nyinyi pia mtukuna watu mwalize mmoja mwende mungoe ili tuhakikishe we have a youth leadership na hapo tukifanya hivyo what we want to do is to ensure that this party which we are building an academy hopefully very soon itakuwa mwinyi mukija bile ukisema unataka masomo bile unaenda ku study maritime unaenda ku study law sisi pia tutakuwa na school of government school of politics we will create leadership uh, academies and nurseries so that wewe pia uweze kujiangazia so that you can become a leader not of tomorrow of now tomorrow and the here hapo mbele ya safari kwa hivyo we have all that na ile assurance ambaye ambaye ndugu yangu nyakundi wamewapa na hii kwa kujisifu I'm the senior most ranking member kwa tika hii serekali kutoka pwani as UDA. Kwa hivyo, kama it is, I'm, I'm grateful you brought it to attention kama hiko mtu mmoja. Sisi watu nabamia, hata ukiangalia hapa, wale vijana, Sir Stephanie, director, huyu Fatma, chairperson, huyu nani, uh, Barak, director, mgeni, director, wako wawa kina mwahima, director, kuna machairman, hata yule rais alipatia kuwa transport PS, transport PS ambaye na akilishwa na chairman wetu wa bandari za huduma za bandari KPA ambaye ndugu yetu tayari anaitwa Muhammad Dagar was appointed a PS at the age of 34 na anatoka hapa hapa tu mitani sijui hapo uh, uh, eh kibo, uh, up old town kwa hivyo kuze kwa hivyo we are here to ensure equal representation to ensure respect and to ensure that comrades are heard na mimi nikisema comrades power I just don't mean it. I just don't say it. I mean it. I mean it because I was once a comrade. Once a comrade, always a comrade. A comrade never dies. He simply fades away. Kwa hivyo, kwa hayo mengi, tafadhalini, let us listen to the Kenyan people as a government and let us respond. We might have the answers. Where we don't have, we will continue to engage. Tukitoka hapa, tutakaenda maeneo mingine. Tell them of how good this is and we will ensure you that some of them must give you timelines about when these solutions will come so that talk must meet action. Kwa hayo mengi, mungu wa bariki.
microphones hapa mbele. Asanteni sana ka tibu mkuu wa chama na mweka hazina. By the way, tukileta microphone hapa ningependa tu kuambia kuwa uh, treasury wetu by the way ni boy boy. Hiyo mwili sikudanganye ni jeans tu kanyama. Zile jeans zake kanyama kidogo na kwenda gym. Otherwise is just ni boy boy ka nyinyi. <laughs> na na wa feel si adi anasema tu ni kaa nyinyi so hii ni chama ya vijana and we as UDA have decided one thing that we will be on the side of the people mkitaka waziri tutaleta yeyote yule pali mna shida tutafanya nini tutaleta kwa sababu the voice of the people is the voice of god sawa sawa kwa hivyo msijali tuko na nyinyi and we will be back ningependa tuanze na ps i respond kwa sababu maswali mengi sana yalikuja kwake 